If you seek liberalization, come here to this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. On February 7th, Ambassador Philip T. Murphy participated in an evening event commemorating former President Ronald Reagan's 100th birthday, as well as his legacy in Germany. The ambassador spoke at a panel discussion co-hosted by the embassy and der Tagesspiegel entitled Bin ich kein Berliner? Ronald Reagan's Legacy. The panel discussion was moderated by Tagesspiegel publisher Gerd Appenzeller, and panelists were former U.S. Ambassador to Germany, Richard Burt, former Foreign Minister of the German Democratic Republic and member of the German Parliament, Markus Meckel, and Professor of Contemporary History at the University of Potsdam, Dr. Manfred Goethemacher. The audience was treated to a fascinating and robust discussion among the panelists who explored Ronald Reagan's role in bringing down the Berlin Wall. But he was an optimist. He, he had an, a political imagination, and he believed you could solve problems. And when I think now about where we are in Washington, when it's very hard to get Republicans and Democrats in the same room to discuss some very serious problems that, uh, that we have with our economy and, and we have internationally. Reagan had this remarkable capacity to build bridges and to, and to work with others to get things done. Well, I think the key understanding was that he was an unsophisticated warmonger. I think they focused on, uh, on the administration's rearmament plans, didn't understand that, uh, that he was using that uh, in order to, to bring the Russians to the negotiating table. I mean, there was a huge protest in the 1980s. Hundreds and thousands of young Germans were protesting against the deployment of missiles. But what they didn't know is that the United States had a position on the table which said that the United States wouldn't deploy if the Russians dismantled their weapons. And in fact, six years into the Reagan administration, that agreement was reached. So he was a far more sophisticated and, and inclusive and optimistic man than I think the Germans really understood. I, I think most importantly, he was just great to be around. He was open, he was approachable. He, he didn't act like a president of the United States. He acted like your next door neighbor. He always had a, a good joke that he would tell. And he used jokes, very importantly, to relax people, to create a, a, a good, uh, happy environment to do business. He was just somebody who wasn't impressed with, with himself or the job. He, nor, he acted like an everyday American in how he went about doing his job, and that was a that that he com and that that pe Americans understood that he communicated that in a way that uh, that they appreciated. When asked whether Reagan deserves a formal memorial in Berlin, Ambassador Burt was emphatic. I th I think it's short-sighted, and and it's 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 a, a little bit. Uh, I think the, I guess the word I I would use is uh, a little bit arrogant. Uh, to not recognize uh, the, uh, the, the contributions that, that Ronald Reagan made to a, to a united, whole, a, a Berlin whole and free. Thank you.